Australian Defence Force personnel arrived in Papua New Guinea almost two weeks ago to support the country's national elections. This mission by Australia was at the request of the Papua New Guinea government where more than 130 Australian Defence Force personnel were deployed to PNG to provide capabilities to support the 2022 national elections under the ADF Operation Kimba. The ADF support comes as part of the DFAT-led whole of government assistance to the national election and the ADF's long-standing partnership with the PNG Defence Force through the existing defence cooperation programme between Papua New Guinea and Australia. Commander of ADF operations in the Southwest Pacific, Major General Scott Winter, AM, said they would work closely with the Papua New Guinea Electoral Commission, the Papua New Guinea Defence Force and Royal Papua New Guinea Constabulary. We're main of the, uh, 2IC of RPNGC, Stephen Francis, said those prepared for the 2022 national general election to support and provide security for this election are the special forces of the Royal Papua New Guinea Constabulary, supported by PNGDF and PNG Correctional Services, with logistics assistance provided by the Australian Defence Force. Okay, the, Royal, the role of the Royal Papua New Guinea Constabulary, uh, it is the lead agency in terms of the uh, providing security for the uh, election 2022. And it's been supported by our two sister agencies, which is the PNG Defence Force and the Correctional uh, Services. So they form part of the Joint Security Task Force. Uh, we are assisting the PNG Electoral Commission in terms of conducting the 22 uh, national elections. In terms of the support that has been uh, provided by the ADF, currently the assistance has been around in terms of logistical support and uh, we have been working closely with the ADF over the last past five to six weeks now in terms of uh, mainly assisting in terms of the movement of our personals, both uh, the police and uh, CS and also the defense force. So mainly we have appreciated in terms of that uh, support and it has really greatly assisted in terms of uh, providing the movement of personals, especially from Port Mosby going up to the, the highlands, which where main of the uh, focus of the operations will be. Yes, that's correct. Today marks that first um, a movement or support that has been provided by the ADF to actually first do the first uh, incision or movement of the uh, uh, Royal Papua New Guinea Constabulary personals. And uh, for us, it's a sign of in terms of relief because from those past uh, weeks, working closely with ADF, we have been planning and coordination around the air movement. And that has been one of the major challenges in terms of to make sure that our personnel uh, move there in time in terms of the launching of the operations. And it's a, a great relief for the Joint Security Task Force, not only the uh, Royal Papua New Guinea Constabulary, but also for the other two sister uh, security agencies, which is the PNG Defence Force and the Correctional uh, Services. For us, for the Joint Security uh, Task Force, I think it has been a great relief and also in terms of a true assistance that has been provided by, by ADF. Australia Defence Force personnel will provide specialist planning, logistics and air transport to support PNG authorities to assist with their national election. Uh, those that are returned. ADF Commander Michael Rohan said while many of the ADF personnel are new to the operation, they are looking forward to working side by side with three disciplinary forces of Papua New Guinea. Yeah, Op Kimber is the Australian Defence Force's contribution in response to a request from the Government of Papua New Guinea in support of their elections that are coming up this month. We hope to achieve in that mission to provide as much air mobility logistics and planning support as we possibly can. So Op Kimber is the Australian Defence Force's uh, response to a request from the Papua New Guinea Government to support their elections coming up this month. 
the particular areas we are supporting are logistics and planning to get the election materials around to all those places that are hard to reach. Commander Rohan said the mission is enabled by the capabilities of the ADF, particularly the Royal Australian Air Force C-27J Spartan and C-130J Hercules aircraft. The C-27 has some niche capabilities where it can land in some of those more marginal fields which are shorter and uh, have less of a sealed surface. The squadron that flies the C-27 is 35 squadron and they have some deep relationships with the air transport wing here as well, which aids in the mission outcome. Sure, the personnel that we've brought in with the Joint Task Group is a mix of people that have been here many times before and some that have come here for the first time. Uh, those that are returned are very excited to be back amongst the population because they're very friendly and those that are new are very excited for the challenge to come along. Uh, the long-standing relationship that we've got with the people of Papua New Guinea is, is making for a high level of excitement and motivation amongst them all. This aircraft will support the transportation of election materials around the country to respective provinces and personnel prior to, during and post the election period. Meanwhile, according to the Electoral Commission's election schedule, Polling will run for 21 days where it will start on the 4th of July and counting period to be seven days, starting on 23rd of July to 29th July 2022.